Just like enols and enolates, enamines are nucleophilic and can act as nucleophiles in SN2 reactions. Here we see an example in which a morpholine enamine has reacted with allyl bromide to form a carbon-carbon bond through an SN2 type reaction. Although enamines are derived from carbonyl groups, chemists go to the trouble of making them because they offer substantial advantages over using enolates or enols for alkylation reactions. The first advantage is that they are not prone to over-alkylation. So after the formation of this iminium bromide, in order to alkylate again, we would have to deprotonate on one of the two carbons alpha to the iminium functional group. However, the original starting enamine is really the only base present, and this enamine is much less basic than would be the harsher enolate functional group, and so we don't deprotonate this iminium bromide again, and after workup with HCl, we generate only the monoalkylated product. The second advantage is that only C alkylation takes place. This has to do with the fact that the enamine lone pair is much less nucleophilic than, say, the oxygen atom of an enolate, and is also protected through steric hindrance provided by the adjacent carbon atoms. Overreaction is also a problem in acylation reactions, which represent the formation of a bond between a carbonyl carbon and a nucleophilic carbon. Using enamines rather than enolates allows for monoacylation specifically, and again, in this case, this iminium intermediate that's formed cannot be deprotonated again because there isn't a strong enough base around in the starting materials in order to accomplish that deprotonation. Mechanistically, this reaction proceeds through addition of the nucleophile to the polarized pi bond of the acyl chloride, followed by elimination to kick off chloride anion and generate the iminium ion intermediate shown. After hydrolysis with HCl and water, the amine portion of the aminium comes off and we're left with a 1,3 dicarbonyl compound. Hopefully this webcast has shown you some of the advantages of enamines over simple enolates, especially in the context of alkylation and acylation reactions. In the next webcast, we're going to take a look at the haloform reaction, which can form alpha halocarbonyl compounds or carboxylic acids, depending on the conditions used.